The Untold Story of Mark Scott The story of Mark Scott is relatively unknown to most people, as he has only recently come into the limelight following his impressive performances in the last couple of years, but mainly this year. But since his recent success, there is no looking back for Mark, as at the age of 26 years old, there is still a lot to come from him. Mark Scott's rise to international stardom has been somewhat of a rags to riches story in the running sense. As he wasn't very talented at running as a teenager growing up, originally playing football instead for the Leeds development squad. He did participate in some running, coming a modest 69th in the English school's cross country championships, 76 in the inter counties and 81st in the English nationals as an under 15 but he found it hard to progress as he wasn't overly committed to his training. Mark documented this in his interview with Athletics Weekly on the 12th of March 2020. I wasn't a very talented junior at all. I wasn't training very much and I was playing football a lot. I was mainly doing it just for enjoyment and it didn't come naturally to me when I was young. However, an injury forced him out of football and turned his attention to running, where he wasn't immediately successful. Initially, he tried his luck on the track but found that his form wasn't good enough. Although Mark didn't stop there and his resilience pulled him through as he eventually discovered that he had great raw stamina for the fells. This is when Mark discovered his newfound potential for running that would take him all the way to the top. He won the English school's title in fell running in 2009 and placed highly at international mountain running events as a teenager, winning him his first England best of many. I moved on to the fells because I just wasn't good enough on the track, Mark explained, but this allowed him to make a name for himself as well as building up his track speed. I built up a lot of strength doing that and it transitioned quite well to cross country and eventually the track. But the downside of all his fell races was that when the time came to obtain a full scholarship to a US university, he found it hard to get in, as he had few track performances to show for his talent. However, eventually he persuaded Tulsa University to take a gamble, which paid off as he broke 8 minutes for 3,000 metres in 2015 and chiselled his 5k time all the way down to 13.36.81, which made a huge difference to his former best of over 40 minutes from the previous year. Mark also talked about the reasons he wanted to go to a US university and how this helped his training. I always wanted to go to the States because there's a great team opportunity. I got into a good routine training with people I got on well with and I began to fall in love with the sport a bit more. Mark went on to win the NCAA 10K title in 2017 with a very impressive time of 29.01.54 which was helped by a last 400 metres of 55.44 seconds as Rory Linkletter convincingly moved from 5th to 2nd, spurring him to pull out an utterly dominant last 250 metres. This was when people really started to take notice of the upcoming Brit and earned him a dream move to the sought after Bowerman Track Club. This gave Mark the chance to propel his career to the next level, partly due to him running with top class teammates who are on his fantastic level of speed. I've had four teammates run 30 minutes or quicker last year, so the potential is there for our group and the coaching we have is remarkable. Earlier on in the year, Mark set the European Indoor 5K record in Boston with an astonishing time of 13.08.87, narrowly beating Mo Farah's time of 13.09.16 seconds. At the time, Mark was only going for the Olympic 5000 metre qualifying standard of 13.13.50 and beating Mo Farah's 2017 record was an unexpected bonus for him. The record kind of just happened, Mark said. The original goal was always to hit the Olympic standard. This shot Mark Scott into the light of the media and onto the international stage, but this was only the beginning. As Mark set a new British 5K record on the road on Saturday the 8th of August, beating the previous record of 13.26 by a huge 6 seconds. Mark secured this record at the Podium 5K in Badaford, which was meant to welcome elite athletes back to racing since lockdown. But Mark put his stellar performance down to his intense training during the Covid pandemic. There's no excuse not to, just had to get the training in. We didn't change anything because of Covid, which is good and it's paying off for the whole group, not just myself. This is a great story of how it's never too late to start and you should never give up on your dreams. No matter how hard it gets, you should always come back stronger and stay resilient.